Hey guys, Brady here. Um, and I just uh, saw uh, a video and also an article saying something about Disney. You know, okay, so you know how Disney now owns rights to like almost everything Fox. Like I think they don't. I think the only thing they don't own is Fox News and Fox Sports, but they own like the TV shows, the movies. Um, so I just heard that Disney is planning on putting Fox movies in the vault. Now, I'm not sure which Fox movies are putting on in the vault, but like, I don't think they should do that. That's, that's really, really dumb because I know they're, they're not Disney's movies to begin with. Like I know they own Fox, but it's like, let Fox go on and do their own thing. You don't need to create a uh, uh, put their movies into your vault now, so no one else could see them ever again. I mean, thankfully, I already own some of Fox's biggest hits. Like, I own the Alien movies. I own the Die Hard movies. I own Sound of Music. I own both Day the Earth Stood Still. Um, I own um, Predator, the Predator movies, Home Alone, Big, uh, Big Trouble in Little China. I own Wall Street. I own a whole bunch of different Fox movies. Uh, I don't really own much of their uh, Blue Sky Studio movies. The only one I do own is the Peanuts movie. But like, um, I don't agree with Disney putting Fox movies in their vault. And I heard that they're putting... Uh, the like the only one I heard of I think is the flies going in there and I'm not sure if that's the original 50s one or the one from the 80s with um Jeff Goldblum but uh I don't think that's a great idea I really don't I'm totally against Disney putting Fox movies in the vault as well as their Disney movies um so I'm just sorry if I look tired I'm just fucking tired I was uh I was tired in my first class today I have another class later on today at one, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. Like this, this Disney thing is just way too, I don't know. I just, they, they shouldn't do this. They're just, and like, I'm all about physical media. I don't like streaming. I try to uh, not stream movies because uh, it's what's killing physical media. And I'm a, I guess I could call myself an advocate for physical media. Um, like, when you watch a physical Blu-ray of a movie, you don't have the lagging uh, frame rate, I guess you can call it. So I'm not good with the terms. Um, like, you would you would on like Netflix where you'd watch a movie on Netflix and it like lags for like 10 seconds of the movie and then goes back. Uh, with Blu-ray, no lag. You have 100% picture, uh, perfect picture quality throughout the entirety of the, uh, of the movie, which is why it's a damn shame uh, Martin Scorsese chose to go to the Netflix route with his new movie, Irishman, which I... And uh, kind of pissed off about with him uh, doing that because although his movie is going to theaters, I have a bad feeling it's not going to play anywhere near me. And I really don't want it to drive two or three hours uh, to go see the movie because, um, first of all, it's a long movie, long drive. So I'm t we're talking about me going probably three hours out of my way to go see a three and a half hour movie. And it's like literally an entire like. Not an entire day, but most of the day, it's just me driving. I don't want to do that and sitting sitting at a movie theater. So that's nine hours right there. Um, and I want to do that. I want to, I, I would have, I'm in uh, a town that's like an hour from Orlando. So hopefully the Irishman is playing in Orlando sometime soon. I don't know. But uh, the closest it's playing is in Tallahassee or something. I'm not willing to go all the way up to Tallahassee to go see Irishman um, so yeah anyway let's get back to the whole Disney thing so yeah uh, I don't agree with that uh, 
I think Disney should just leave Fox movies alone. Uh, they're, I, I guess it's fine that they're financing up, uh, like new and upcoming Fox movies. But like, do not put their movies into the vault. I think that's a stupid idea. Um, also, Disney, can you keep your stupid silver banners away from uh, Fox titles? Is I don't even like it on on your movies. Why do you keep, why are you putting it on like Child's Play or um, Alita: Battle Angel, and most recently Stuber, which was a horrible movie. You could do whatever you want with that cover. The movie is terrible. Um, but like. This is just a dumb idea. Which also means that I, I still want to get some of these Fox titles before they go into the vault. Because I, st I still want to see movies like Niagara. I still want to... I haven't seen Niagara yet. I haven't seen Gentleman, uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Uh, I've seen The Fly years ago. I'm talking about the original. I, I own the David Cronenberg remake. I want to get that though. Um, so there's those... Uh, I think Return of the Fly. Oh, you can only get that in the Vincent Price box set. Um, Broken Arrow, Phone Booth. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of Fox titles, or One Hour Photo with Robin Williams. A whole bunch of Fox titles that I still want to get that I hope don't go in the vault by the time I, uh, before I get them. Because then I'll be really depressed. I won't be depressed. I'll just be a little upset about it. But, um, yeah, so what are your thoughts on Disney movies going into the vault? Or, not, I mean, not Disney movies. Fox movies going into the Disney vault. Do you think that's a dumb idea? Do you think it's not a dumb idea? Uh, whatever it is, put your comments below. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, what Fox movies do you own? What Fox movies don't you own on Blu-ray? Uh, feel free to put that in the comments below as well. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't agree.